we are we it is break week. Facts. Uh, yeah. We were talking about it earlier that apparently Siegel's been playing all day on Elite Smash because he doesn't have, you know, to do anything. <laughs> True. Uh, so he's a bit warmed up today. I should explain also why, you know, he's been playing a bit harder than usual. The Elite Smash buff. That used to be a meme, but now at this point, like, everyone who still grinds a lot is still, like, solid. So, like, you have a chance of running into some really good players on there. I found Peanut a lot before he got, like, to the level he is now. But even then, he was still, like, you know, quickly a menace. Mm. I found Jojay a few times. I found a lot of... I found DD's Mega Man. I beat that, just dipped. I'm not going to ever have to hear the fact... I'm never going to have to live with the fact that I lost his ZD's Mega Man. <laughs> but, yeah, just online is something. Dex is someone who I've never seen play online ever. That's self-care. <laughs> right there, honestly. <laughs> yeah. But but I don't blame him. I've, I've been online free for a year. God, it's great. <laughs> All right, but that back throw right there, yeah, definitely going to do it. So Dexter's opening up strong early on. Kind of what Dexter does best, you know, Taking the page from Siegel Joe's book and kind of, you know, adding a few lines of his own. Gets an early lead and then just compounds on it by playing safe and gets getting a hit or two and then just really taking that to the bank. Right now, though, he's not getting the hit or two because Siegel Joe did teach him a lot and kind of hip to his movement options right there. But there we go. This could be how things get started. Look at that laser. Going to burn the jump and just force Siegel Joe to go low. Even more damage, but good DI away and uh, forward air to interrupt that string. And Dex is just, he's holding on to this one. Like, we were talking about how it was Siegel last set. Dex, this monster in his own, his own right. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I think that's just what makes Dex such a good player. He knows exactly what he has to do. And for, for everybody else, it's not benefited from the fact that he plays Wolf, you know? We, we don't get, we don't get uh, any luckier because Wolf is just gives the tools for Dex to just... I'm going to say Dex exploits a lot of Wolf's great tools. Yep. And he's super good at it. And it fits well with his game plan. He knows how to live for a bit. He knows how to take socks early. He knows how to ledge trap well. It's one of the rare instances where someone's playstyle completely matches with the character that they picked. And that's not easy to like get in a lot of games because like every character has like, oh, a couple things or qualities that's like, eh, that's not quite me, but we make it work. But Dexter... Wolf fits him like a glove. Yeah, it's a big, like it's a big reason why, of course, like low tier players as well stick with the games they play. Cause that's the closest thing. It's like, for instance, like I would say Peanut, but we've seen him pick out a lot of characters, and they just don't have specific things that uh, Peanut likes about them, mm -hmm. and they get put away after a little bit. Yeah. I oh my god, that uh, did shield damage. <laughs> yeah, that move would have hit like a truck. But I still think Pina's Roy has a lot of potential. I mean, he's he's probably going to start going with me, Sword Fighter. It put in work against Pink on Sunday. Or Saturday, whenever they played. He's... Uh, uh, Alright. But, right now, Dexter just trying to walk us home. Looking for some way to keep him on the ledge. Kind of what he does best. No jump here. This is going to suck. Oh, oh God. good angle. Doing it too early. Good Harry. Going to get the grab. That dash grab is really, a really stupid burst option. Mm. Dex is playing nice today, honestly, defensively. I feel like everybody's just been playing really good today. Yeah. Maybe a little bit fired up. You know, end of the year. People maybe want to hit some of their goals. And plus, you know, lots of high-level smash up happened over the weekend. Oh, oh, get mixed. My ankles were shattered, too, by that. Yeah, lots of high-level smash happened over the weekend. We had Apex. We had DreamHack Atlanta. Um, and there, was a, there was a Sp Spain-European tournament, I'm pretty sure. Yep. That's what it's called. Yep, yep. Yep. It wouldn't surprise me if Japan had, like, you know, their 20-person weekly that had, like, half the Japanese PGR. So ridiculous. <laughs> Some of those, like, 
uh, Japanese locals have me be like, what? Like that and what's that um, one in New Jersey? PS Platinum uh, Star Platinum Weekly. Platinum Star. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, yeah. It's like yeah no, I, got, I got Jackal round two. It's like, oh, yeah, to fight Tweak to get in the top eight. Yeah. I remember seeing one that was like Jackal, Tweak, DeBuzz, Rivers, and like a 24-man bracket. <laughs> like, what the hell is that? I think like it was, it was best when we started coming back and it was like, why is half the PGR at this random weekly? <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. Cracks me up. I was uh, like, oh yeah, I lost a, I lost a week in uh, the buzz for 17th place. <laughs> Man, try to say stacked. Yeah. <laughs> but off in this game number two, we do have the e Aegis switch for uh, Siegel. And while I don't think Aegis is bad, it's kind of what we were talking about before, where it's like instead of making the adjustments with the character he was already playing, he switches to a different character, and then that doesn't work most of the time. He was talking about it earlier today, too. Like, someone was talking about, I think it was like Siegel's first time meeting them or whatever. And the person was like, oh yeah, like I think like I said like a month ago, playing Pitho, and then, oh, he, did, he has jump. But, Ooh. side B, yeah. Uh, he was talking like, oh yeah, I haven't like played them since. It's like, well... Seagull, <laughs> if it's not ready, why are you pulling it out? Yep. It might be a thing just because of the matchup history between the two. Maybe, like, he was just... Feels a little lost against Dexter and just kind of throwing stuff to see what sticks. But I think the Palutena has been more soft, you know? Dexter is just one of those players you can't do that. Yeah. yeah. You, have, you have to commit to something. Like, there's a reason why... I'm going to use Oolong here. Oolong... Doesn't only go Gunner versus uh, like ZD. He will, he'll go Gunner versus uh, Dexter as well because it's not just a thing that you can just maybe do and it may work. You have to fully commit to it. Um, ooh, yeah, you can't cheese him. He, he's lactose free. So that should kill. Yeah, yeah, I've like I think I have played Dex in like eight cents in eight to three comeback. I won the first one. I think since then I have taken a singular game yep. across two, two characters as well. But hey, at least I took one with the other characters I committed to. But okay, as much as we were talking about how it's not like you know the best, Seal's not doing awful. Yeah, that's the thing. Like I feel like his Aegis out of all the secondaries was probably the strongest, but it's still I mean, not a strong grind. Him. Yeah, so it's not bad. But once again, out of practice. Yep. Yep. But getting the job done well enough for now, switching over the pyro just to get the blazing end and, you know, get some space back. Dex, I was about to say, do not get hit by that. I know, I've seen Dex get hit by a whirl like punch. I, it was not out of the question that Dex could potentially get hit by it. Oof. Oh yeah, I remember that clip, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it wasn't even just like, you know, that he like, got like red or like hit by it. He rolled out of it, then rolled back in. Yep. <laughs> You played yourself. He played himself, yeah. So I don't I can't place my finger on it of how this benefits Seagull, like his playstyle. And so I'm just kinda of leaning. I think it, these also are really good characters, and Seagull's finally picking a character that's really good again. True. Yeah, I feel like he just just kind of fits a lot of players who came from older iterations of Smash. Cause you kind of just get to do things, and if you space it right, they just work. And if you have that fundamental knowledge, it it goes pretty well. Yeah. Dash attack. You're trying to follow up on the uh, follow up on the hit after, but not gonna get anything. But he, so Wolf obviously does not swing as fast as does he? No, he definitely doesn't. No, as Mithra. But he. I would say, like, the hit for uh, damage rate is just not, like, evening it out at all for Seagull. He needs, Seagull needs to play so much better in neutral to even balance it out. And he's simply dead dead. Yeah. He's simply just not able to do that. Fun fact, I have not seen Dexter drop that spike on Photon Edge if he's in position. Yeah. Like, Dex also is probably the wolf that uses Dare the most. I, I want to find another wolf that would use it as much as Dex. I just can't. Like, I, like, I'm trying to think of, like, anybody. Charlie has been starting to on some of his streams. I mean, has he been streaming a bit more recently? Um, I he's been tweeting a bit more. I just don't know about. He streamed once a couple weeks ago, like, as a big comeback stream. I think he streamed, like, maybe once or twice since then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he started to go for, like, more of those dare extensions and, like, 
Wolf that, doesn't have a bad move. He does not. Yeah, he does not. His worst move, I think, is maybe down tilt. And down tilt so jab. good. Is jab it's like, probably jab. Yeah, but, his jab. Is, but I feel like whenever we talk about worst moves, jabs should never be in the conversation because, like, realistically, for most characters, jabs are their worst moves. Mm. Like, if it wasn't for the fact that up Ganon was made to be bad, it would be Ganon and jab. Uh, they said, nope, it's up tilt. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, Ma if, Mac, if Mac wasn't made to be bad, it would... Actually, no, he has a frame one jab, so he's getting that out of this one. Yeah, Mac doesn't have a bad ground move. Yeah, Mac does not have a bad ground move. That's Ooh. a big, yeah. All right, something I do have to give uh, Seagull props for is just how he switches between the two. Um, a lot of Aegis players kind of gravitate more towards one or the other, and I feel like they don't swap the Pyra when it would actually benefit them. Because, like, you don't just swap the Pyra when your opponent's at a high percent, even though it definitely is a solid situation. It's also when you have stage control and, like, you feel like your opponent can't run past you to get past that. Good up smash. And he, and he went for it. Yeah, like this, this is a good pyro situation. Yeah, when you have them at the ledge. And that is not, should not be as safe as it is. Wolf should be, as much as I hate saying this, Wolf up, up smash out of shield should be punishing that. Yeah. That. Very oh close. Oh my god, no, he's actually at high percent. I thought that was a DI thing. Nope. That's yeah. just really close to it. He got lapped a while ago. Yeah, the damage output from you just really can rack up if you know, you don't kind of alleviate some of that pressure there. Wow, that spot dodge worked. Good spot dodge, but he still had a shield. He's big. Actually, I don't know if he would have gotten hit by it just simply because he put up the shield that he got hit. Mm. Uh, Either way, he's going to get up smash. Yeah, a little bit too antsy right there. This is one of those times, yeah, like, you you kind of need a switch. Oh, and China expecting the uh, movement past it. What I would like to see from Joe here is like after he gets that uh, Mithra hit, then switch so that you can um, like switch after you get in the position so that way you can kind of, you know, get a big hit afterwards. But right now, because of that weight, yep, you get combat a bit more, but you still end up getting the kill anyway. Also, this is a really tough situation for Seagull to be in. If you roll in there, or if you roll out, you get fair combo, and that's never a good sign with his wolf. But since he decided to roll in, he just got an air extended off of it. Yeah. So his huge lead that he had is quickly been uh, whittling down, but he's he, the main thing is he's at least putting significant damage on it. That's it. See? Again, in position, easy pickup. Now, this is still one wolf combo. Don't get it wrong. This is still one wolf combo. Especially now. But this is important. You... He didn't have a jump. That could have been a free dare. Yeah. My Spidey Sense says that Joe is about to throw. I don't think you're wrong. I think Seagull just is taking too much damage and he's just not balancing it out. And I'm going to say it. Wolf probably has an easier time killing than Mithra does unless... Or Pitha does, except for very certain situations. And Seagull's not abusing that. At this percent especially, yeah. Like, Wolf can combo with this uh, kill very easily. There we go. Yeah. yeah, that's what you're talking about. How does he get past that mid-level situation? Mid-level, yeah, mid-stage pressure. So does a jump. He's going to have to side beat. Oh, there he dropped it. But oh, he dropped. See, he see, dropped see. down. <laughs> I told you, the spider sense was tingling. It's like, Joe has not thrown in about six minutes now. It it's needs to happen. It's been too long. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's just got to happen. It's got to happen. All right, and so with that, we got our grand finals all set, locked and loaded. And what would Xanadu be without ZD and Dexter playing for it the 200-something time? You know what? I was talking about it earlier. How can I be thankful this Thanksgiving without doubles as the finals Xanadu side event? There's squad strike today. That's no, that's no fun. I want to be thankful with my friends and play doubles and do stupid things. But yep. hey, I'm thankful that at least we have some sort of consistency in my life in the form of ZD versus Dex Grant. ZD and Dexter in Grants has probably been one of the more consistent forces of, like, the last year and a half for me, honestly.